Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're jumping into the exciting world of live streaming. Whether you're streaming a concert, a business conference, a church service, or just streaming solo, I've got you covered. In this video, I'll walk you through the easiest and most budget-friendly way to set up a stream using just one camera. We'll talk about the essential gear you'll need, discuss potential upgrades for more advanced streams, and I'll guide you through the setup process using OBS Studio. Let's dive in! For the basic setup, you'll need a digital camera or a camcorder, a laptop, an HDMI to USB video adapter, an HDMI cable, and a reliable internet connection. When selecting a camera, keep these factors in mind. Ensure it has a reliable power supply to sustain long streaming sessions. Don't rely on batteries. Look for models with a clean HDMI output. Be cautious with DSLR and mirrorless cameras, as prolonged high-quality capture may lead to overheating. A dummy battery can mitigate this issue. For distant shots, prioritize cameras with excellent zoom capabilities. Check if it features a 3.5mm line jack or an XLR input. This gives you the option to tap into the sound mixer for better audio quality. DSLRs and mirrorless cameras provide great quality and are okay for short streams, but they're not ideal for longer streams due to the limited battery life and potential to overheat. For longer streams, camcorders like these are more practical. They're typically equipped with a power cord and have great zoom capabilities. For capturing audio on a budget, the on-camera mic is a viable option. While it may not deliver the highest quality, it's certainly better than having no audio at all. If your budget allows, consider upgrading to a better quality shotgun mic, such as the Rode VideoMic Go or VideoMic Pro. For live events, you might have the opportunity to obtain a line input from the sound mixer. If your camera supports a line input, you can connect it directly to the camera's 3.5mm line jack or an XLR input if your camera is equipped with an attachment. It's crucial to monitor the audio input to ensure a balanced mix. For a more advanced audio setup, consider using a USB audio interface like the M-Audio Duo or Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. These devices offer multiple audio inputs, allowing for greater flexibility and control over your audio output during live streams. Now let's delve into some crucial camera settings. These settings may vary depending on your camera model. Navigate to the settings menu and locate the HDMI output setting. If your camera allows you to adjust the HDMI output resolution, set it to the highest available option. This will serve as your base canvas in OBS Studio, which we'll discuss shortly. Additionally, ensure to disable any on-screen displays. In the case of the GH5, this option is found in the HDMI Rec Output menu under Info Display. Other camera models may refer to it differently, but the goal is the same, turn off any overlays that could interfere with your stream. Now let's set up the hardware. Simply connect one end of an HDMI cable to your camera and the other end to the HDMI to USB capture device. Plug the capture device directly into your computer's USB 3.0 port. Ensure your laptop is connected to a reliable internet connection. To verify its stability, visit speedtest.net and click Go to initiate a speed test. Take note of the upload speed. For a smooth streaming experience, target an upload speed of 3 to 6 megabits per second for 720p, 7 to 11 megabits per second for 1080p, and 10 to 55 megabits per second for 4K resolution. Adjust your stream's output quality settings in OBS Studio accordingly, based on these results. We're almost set to go live. If you've found this video helpful so far, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Let's get back to the video. Now that everything is plugged in, let's fire up OBS Studio. Begin by navigating to settings, then video to configure the correct base and output resolutions. The base resolution reflects the output from your camera, while the output resolution determines the stream quality. Set this based on your upload speed. Next, head to the Audio tab. By default, the desktop audio and one mic will be enabled. If you don't want these to be included, 
make sure to disable them. For a more detailed guide on OBS stream settings, check out my previous video. To add your camera feed, hit the plus button in the sources section, then select video capture device. Feel free to rename it. Choose the device labeled USB video or the specific name of your device to display your camera feed. If the video doesn't appear, change the resolution FPS type to custom, then select the camera's output resolution. Fine tune the audio levels, aiming to keep them within the green or yellow range to avoid distortion. If you're using a USB audio interface, add it as a separate source. Click the plus button again and select Audio Input Capture. Rename it if you like. From the device drop-down, select your audio interface and click OK. Now, the final step is to configure your streaming destination. Navigate to the settings, then Stream. Select where you'd like to stream in the service drop-down. Follow the instructions to connect your account, then click Apply and OK. When you're ready to go live, hit the Start Streaming button. It's showtime. And there you have it. You're all set to live stream like a pro. Remember to double check your settings, keep an eye on audio levels, and most importantly, enjoy the show. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Until next time, happy streaming.